When you try to change the IP address of a Micro 850 PLC, you're going to run into an error. Let's talk about what causes the error and how to get by it. If we go into RS Links and right click on our Micro 850, and actually this works for any of the Micro 800 PLCs, and go to Module Configuration, then Port Configuration, you'd think you'd be able to take and just change this IP address, click Apply, Yes, and it should have changed, but it says an unexpected communications error has occurred. Now that's a really vague error, but we can use the PLC tool SIM IPE to get the actual error text. Let's go to discover device, and there's our PLC. I'm gonna click okay, replace address, and that's the current address, and I'm just gonna try to change it to 52, and I'm gonna execute replace, and it says write privilege error. What that means is you can't change that Micro 850's IP address in its current state. There are two things you need to do. One, it cannot be in run mode. You must be in program mode. And two, it can't have any active communications. Switching to program mode is easy on all of them except the Micro 820. And I'll put a video at the end of this one with special instructions for it. But on the rest of them, you have a mode switch. And we can tell we're in run right now because we have a solid green LED right there. I'm gonna switch it over to program and that's gonna make our run light go out. And now when we do the execute replace, it works fine. That solves number one. The other thing is there's active connections. So in the case of this Micro 820, we have a PowerFlex 525 and a panel view that are communicating with it. And to break that connection, all you simply do is unplug the cable and plug it back in. And so another great example of how we can use the SIM IPE to work through network problems.